when you have the start of the race, you feel that all the people are, they, they just block the breath just to see what's going on and you have After a race, when you had a beer, one beer, it's amazing. <laughs> wow. You feel like tequila. It's the greatest race in the world. Never dreamed I'd be here. At the end of the race, when uh, you're up on the podium, if you're on the podium, you know, just the sea of people. Oh. That's what really makes it cool. Some teams go through some serious crashes and rebuilds and then it's like all these guys, it's impressive. It's magical, it's historic, I love it. But it wasn't difficult to stay awake, but as soon as the race finished, you're dead. What's it like to drive? The best thing you'll ever do. Yeah, very good. Excited, you know. Looks quick. Yeah, you are not as fast as Toyota, but I hope you are not far behind. Let's see. No, that's what it is. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't get involved. I'll drive the car. <laughs> when I jumped in for the first couple of laps, I was like, shit. Uh, that's the first time I've come here, so uh, that's new for me. But uh, cars and uh, cars and party. The minimum time for each driver is six hours, then we are three, and the other two have to do six and six, and then I do the rest. Woo! It's Le Mans, and uh, it's my first time, and it's a special, it's a special one because I'm racing with my, with my dad. The feel that it's still dangerous, the fact that you drive at night, the speed, the runoff. If the opportunity comes, for sure, you can't say no. Feel the emotion and love the motorsport this weekend. That's really good. Jackie, can I ask a, a quick question? What yes. is it about this race that is so special for you? It's so special this year. It's because for the first time, instead of having zero spectators, we've got 50,000 spectators. Of course, it's not the 260,000 we used to have, but yes, it's a, almost a 100-year race. It's exceptional, really. And to see the crowd watching the race, having few uh, IPR cars, and uh, the competition is going to be strong. That's the way it is, as you know. Uh, I'm very enthusiastic about the future, anyhow. And the parity of Le Mans is there today because they have been able, in terrible conditions, to organize the race. And uh, wow, it's fantastic. What do you make of Le Mans? Oh, it's amazing. It's just so special. Yeah, the night, you know, the first lap you do in the night, is, it's just incredible. I think the level, everything is. You enjoy, uh, you push really your, your own limits, so I'm, I'm super happy to have this opportunity. Oh, how are you? Hi. Okay. Yes. Good to see you. I've done this for, I don't know, since 2003. Mate. And it just, every time it gives me chills. Uh, I tell you, I've been here in December, and you can stand right down there, and you can hear the crowd really? in December. You just oh, hear the man. echoes of it. It's amazing. So, yeah. Jim, the dream comes true on the yeah. grid. What you've done has caught the motorsport world's heart, their imagination. You're doing what every motorsport fan in the world could only dream of doing. Does it feel real to you yet? You know, I always like the journey. So I, you know, from the first second I took a napkin and sketched this car, I believed we would be here. I believe that if you can dream something, you can do it. I'm so proud to be here. I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so happy that when we walk by, the fans stand up and they wave American flags and things. I just wish there were 300,000 people here. I think it'd be like a rock concert. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. How is it for you? Oh, mega, mega. Oh, it's good. I mean, so far it's been a cool week, very long. 
obviously we started from Sunday, but uh, yeah, the pace is there and I think we should have a good result. And what about this atmosphere on this grid? I've never known so many people on a grid. It's nice to have this in the last two years. I have to say, I'm a bit of a old school, but it's so good to have some people here and you know enjoy the atmosphere like it should be. What am I doing here? I'm at, the, I'm at the greatest race in the world. What is? What is oh! oh. What's <laughs> up, brother? How are you feeling? I'm good, man. It's all good. Exciting, exciting. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. It is, isn't it? Yeah, sure, You're sure. taking the start, though. Yeah. No, it's coming for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah. We have a guy 15 k out. He's already fully wet. No really? Way. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like proper, proper rain or yeah. just? No, proper rain. I know you. you all right. Couple of ones. Thank you, Will. Pleasure, guys. What are you doing here? I mean, it's uh, an off weekend, so yeah, I yeah. thought, why not? That's exactly it's my, the same my thing I thought. First time, man. Is it? Oh, what a bus. Okay. What, awesome. what keeps you coming back, man? Oh, I love this race. Monaco, this, Indy. This race is awesome. And, you know, we're in P2. 26 cars, I think 10 can win. I mean, it's going to be a 24 hour sprint race. You've got to be careful with the tire choice because there's so many cars. And if so many cars are going over, it dries so quickly. Oh, really? So if you're on the wrong compound wet, if you go for the full wet, after a lap, you could be in the wrong tire. Yeah. And then you've got to come in and change. And then you might have to go from full wet to normal wet and slick. And you're going to pitch stuff out the window. So you've got to, you might have to look after a wet tire or risk on a slick. So these are, this is a tough decision now for all the people starting. What's the choice? Slicks or wets? Uh, I don't think it's going to get really bad. Well, who knows? But it looks like the worst of it is going to miss us. But for sure, it's going to keep raining. But always, the last time this happened was like 2016, and they put a safety car out for the first one. So, we'll see. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Have fun. See that. It's so emotional. So many people. And now uh, the grid's clearing, but the clouds are rolling in. It's grey skies, so it's coming. Else was going for it early. Oh man. And like that, it's begun. 61 cars, 24 hours. And the quest for some to simply see the flag at 4 pm on Sunday. For many, this race is the culmination of a lifetime's dreaming. For the vast majority, the absolute highlight of their year. And for the lucky few, a baptism. As it turns out, I'm not the only person visiting Le Mans for the first time. It's part of Ferrari and, uh, and Ferrari is part of Le Mans. The first victory of Ferrari was in 1949 and following that eight other uh, victories and it's really been an incredible testing ground, uh, a laboratory and the endurance space allowed Ferrari to build wonderful cars to compete but also wonderful cars on, on the road and, and that relationship is, is one that has continued and, and more importantly so is one that we really think has a lot for our future. You got to sit in the car behind you, the first Ferrari winner from 1949. You got to wave the flag to start the race, as your grandfather did before you. What does this place mean to you, personally? It was a discovery. Uh, I, I had never been, and it's been a wonderful privilege to, to really learn 
and, and be part of such a wonderful atmosphere where Who Loves Cars comes together and that group effort that you see in the teams with the pilots, with the engineers, the mechanics and, and all of it at play is very, very unique. What's this like for you to see everything with fresh eyes, to experience something in this world of racing and in this world of Ferrari for the first time? All first times are very special and particularly when they're good. Uh, what, and there are many first times during Le Mans. First time uh, a race at night and, and that's incredible. You have these rockets on wheels. And, and what's also very exciting about this race uh, is you have the same intensity that you would have in a shorter race. So it's not because it's 24 hours that the intensity is, is lower. And if you actually see how it ends when we won in 2019 on, in the GT series, it was under a minute. And, and it's very, very close. It's an incredible race, uh, an incredible thing to be a part of. Ferrari returns, of course, in the new hypercar division. But what would it mean to you to see Ferrari take overall honors for a tenth time at Le Mans? Well, the, the, they're all great round numbers. Uh, Ferrari stopped in 1973, so it's 50 years that, that it's coming back. Ferrari won the first championship in 19. 53, so it's 70 years, and the most celebrating 100, 100 years. So it would be definitely something we're very keen and, 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 and proud of being able to come back, and, and no doubt that from 9 to 10 it's another round number which would make us all who love Ferrari and who love racing it be a very special present and tribute to the most.